We are here at Top Notch Marine on uh, 28 uh, Sea Fox. We're at Melbourne, Florida, Top Notch Marine. Tammy's going to show you guys how you uh, put on your covers. Congratulations on your boat. One pretty important thing, um, when she took it off a while ago, she made sure that she rolled it in the way that would be easiest to put back on. And you're going to want to do that. It's, it's pretty simple to put on and off. But. So you just sock it right over the bow, right over the anchor. And as you go back, just unroll. First thing you're going to come to are two buckles to hold the uh, front of the bow down. They go right through your front cleats. Buckle, uh, buckles are really simple to operate. They're just uh, sort of like, like a life jacket buckle. Just, you saw how she put it on and then pulled it tight. You don't want to over tighten it. It'll, it'll uh, you know, leave about an inch or a half an inch of play because it'll make it hard for you to unbuckle it. You may see some water on the cover. That's because we had it all on a while ago and sprayed the hose just to make sure we don't have any pooling anywhere. Now she's coming back for or to the rear more and you'll see that there are more buckles that she's about to come to. The first two she's gonna do Attach the cover to the T-top itself. Just go under and over and around just like that. And buckle. And that'll help you to get everything squared away on the sides. Just keeps you from having to hold it up. And then again, tighten your buckles after. Now she's pulling it over the side on that side. We'll wait till she gets to this side so you can see it well. And she's pulling the, there's two buckles on that. One pulls it to the rear and one pulls it uh, away from the center console. She's doing the buckle that pulls the cover to the rear first so she can get some leverage. And just again, pull it tight. And then this one pulls it away from the center console. And the front yard needs a trim. And we, we really like this design a lot, Mike, because uh, you can use it during an afternoon thunder boom or two. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good shelter um, as well as a good uh, sun protection cover. Now there's three flaps up front. Really those uh, are just to hold things in place but you do want to use them. They just Velcro down. The pole is not adjustable on purpose. Um, and uh, it just, we made it to go exactly where we wanted it to go so it wouldn't pull ever. And there you go. Um, pretty simple. I'm gonna pause the video for a minute while we get the other, oh, very important thing. Your cowling cover, bat, or cowling cover, also uh, is used for your cover bag. I didn't show you that she had, oh, there you go. She has everything inside of that. And I hope the video is not getting too dark. That's your center console cover. Pretty easy. It's again, it's wet because we washed everything. And pool checked it.
And kind of the same thing applies. If you put it in the bag, uh, just like you uh, are going to put it on, you won't have any issues. If you don't, uh, you're gonna probably wiggle it around three or four times to figure out which way is which. But you do it, uh, I would say three times, you're gonna be a pro at it. It's really pretty easy. When I must return to the cold, cold ground Have them take their time when they lay their center down Heaven knows that I ain't perfect Raise a little pain And I plan to raise a whole lot Again, a buckle and then just a few snaps and that is for a uh, helm seat and fish uh, a bait well cover and that the zipper it has a relief zipper in it that zipper is always going to be on the starboard side of the boat so that'll be an easy way for you to tell which is. the relief zipper actually makes it smaller than the top of the seats but it's probably a good idea since you're going to be out there on that lift to go ahead and snap four snaps on the bottom. Also, it's made so that those seat cushions have to be in the up position. So if you try to put them, uh, put it on with them down, it's not going to fit. She's snapping, you can't see, but she's snapping four corners. Okay, <laughs> now you have a rear seat cover. This is the most simple of all. Very important thing to remember, there are three snaps on the top and two snaps on the bottom. That'd be the easiest way to tell. How I'm gonna try to move so the, the video is getting dark. Now the cowling cover is, it can only go on one way. Um, just so you know, the bungee in the back is tight right now, but it won't be for a long, I would say in about a week. It won't be tight anymore and you won't have any, uh, as, as hard of a time, but it is, uh, you'll have to, you know, get with it a little bit to get that one on, but it, it's not. I don't even know her name, I guess full Those two, uh, straps, uh, go around, uh, each of the, uh, motor piping. Now what she's doing is flipping it down. You can do this from inside of the boat. Um, there's two, I'm gonna walk around the back and show you. You saw what she was flipping there for a second. What she's doing is flipping this down so it rests right on this lip. There's a little lip right here and it'll rest right there for you, but that's why she was flipping that. All right, congratulations on your boat, and um, we will see you on the water, and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. The wise man next to me did say about the one that got away. Son, I missed my chance. Don't you?